we have to take care of the water supply we have now. If and when we build the lake, the water structure inside the city will stay the same. So we have to continue our maintenance and, and updating of that uh, infrastructure while planning for what's going to take care of us in the future. If we don't have the, the above ground storage, then, then we have to have more pumps at the plant to keep the pressure consistent. The other thing you have to look at is if we lose power to the plant, then we lose pressure to the whole system. So if we lose power to the plant, then we still have the water towers that can provide pressure to the system. So they're, they're, they're a critical part of any distribution system. The 7th Street Water Tower, the middle size of three overhead storage tanks owned by the city of Ada, is currently being rehabilitated. The tower is more than 50 years old and is showing signs of surface rust. A crew from Minnesota has been hired to the tune of $472,500 to rehabilitate the tower, which includes resurfacing it with paint and protective coatings. We want to extend the life of the tower as much as possible. And with it being 55 years old and, and being in as good a shape as it is, it's just, it just seems in my mind to be very wise to, to continue to take care of this. This is more of a preventative maintenance uh, measure instead of a reactive maintenance in which we have a problem and then we have to fix it. It's, it's more costly at that time than it is just to do the preventive maintenance like we are now. And as long as we continue on with this, uh, keeping this in mind, it's really the life of this tower is indefinite. You can see from the outside of the tower that the tower is in need of, need of maintenance just from the look of the paint on the outside, but if you were to go inside you'd see what the tower really needs, which is the rehab inside that, that uh, protects the metal where the water actually is. A waterworks bond election in 1949 provided the city of Ada with $590,000 to build the water tower. In the spring of 1950, Valley View Hospital deeded a piece of property to the city on which to erect the tower. Constructed shortly after by Chicago Bridge and Iron, the tower would become the city's second overhead water storage facility. It is approximately 140 foot tall and 65 foot in diameter. The tank portion is, is uh, 25 foot from the bottom of the tank to the top and it has about 600,000 gallons. The city's first water tower has an interesting story behind it. The 400,000 gallon tower, known within the industry as a witch's hat, is located at the south end of Townsend Street. It was second hand when purchased by the city in 1917. Before it was purchased from Chicago Bridge and Iron, it had served the U.S. government in the country of Panama. A report in 1955 declared the tower was in decent shape and would remain so as long as it was periodically refurbished. That's exactly what's happening to the 7th Street Tower now. Ever so often with the steel tank you have to go back in and repaint the tank, the inside, the outside. If not, uh, then it begins to rust and, and then you lose uh, the thickness of the steel and eventually you could lose structural integrity. And so with that, we notice that there's some rust starting to really show and it's, it's surface rust which is not a real problem at this point. So we saw we better go ahead and get something done before it became a real problem. Studies showed that it was time for it to be re rehabilitated. Uh, you know, the outside's looking pretty bad, but if you were to go on the inside, you'd see where, where the need really is. And a lot of people don't realize um, the rehabilitation, a lot of the rehabilitation takes place inside to preserve the metal. The city's third and largest water tower was built in 1999. It holds a million gallons of water. Combined, the three towers provide the city with two million gallons of overhead water storage and that's treated water, water that has been purified by the Ada water plant. The city maintains an additional 7 million gallons of raw water storage. The third water tower was built following a major water line break. It was in 1998 we lost, I believe it was 1998, we lost everything that we had in the system from, uh, from both, at that time we just had two towers, we lost all the water from there, it was through a, a big water break. We couldn't isolate the break because the valves were old and wouldn't uh, close the system off and so we lost everything. To prevent such an extensive loss of water, the new tower was constructed with a remote isolation valve. The 7th Street tower will be retrofitted with a similar system. This water tower actually serves the entire city. Because we don't have a, a separate pressure zone for each tower, they all affect the system in some way. And so if we, if we have a tower that, say, is, is uh, taken out of service, then the other two towers just take, take the place of it. The only time that becomes an issue is when we have really high flows or high usage. The rehabilitation of the 7th Street Tower is being funded solely by Proposition 1, a three-quarter cent sales tax dedicated to infrastructure improvements throughout the city of Ada. 
Proposition 1 also funded the construction of the new water tower. Whenever you have large projects like this come up in a community the size of Ada, you have to decide what has to be sacrificed to, to make these kind of repairs, you know, along with street repairs and sewer repairs and all the things that, that have to be done in a city the age Ada is. And Proposition 1 has just been um, a unbelievably valuable tool to us to actually address the issues that need to be done without sacrificing the daily maintenance of the rest of the departments in the city. Keeping the water towers and the entire water distribution system in tip-top shape creates financial as well as safety benefits. I think it's important in a couple of different ways. Not only a visible water supply for business to know that we can meet their needs and their demands as they expand and grow, but it also uh, affects our fire rating, which is a very important thing to businesses because it affects their fire insurance that they will have being a part of this community. The rehabilitation of the 7th Street Water Tower will take approximately 120 days, weather permitting. The new coating should last an estimated 12 to 15 years, at which point it will likely be necessary to rehabilitate the tower once again. When the, the discussion came up about rehabbing the tower, one of the first questions that the council had was uh, the cost of the rehabilitation compared to the cost of building a new tower. Uh, and if the cost was going to be you know, close to building a new tower, why didn't we just build a new tower? And the problem with that is uh, that water supply that's in that tower has to be there even through the construction. So we would have to purchase more land to build the tower, uh, find the proper location in town that the tower would be built. So even though it's a very expensive process to rehab the old tower, uh, it's really not a question of, of uh, not doing it. It's a question of when to do it.